So I mentioned that I'm replacing my Frog Togs rain jacket with something else. Frog Togs is something I'd used for, I don't know, thousands of miles. <laughs> so, so many miles underneath these Frog Togs. And I really liked them, but ultimately I felt like they were extremely safe and they were lacking maybe some features that I thought I really wanted, you know? And I still think I really wanted. Um, so the Frog Togs, I don't think I'm ever really going to be using this anymore. And what I'm replacing that with and what I'm using now is going to be the Enlightened Equipment Visp Rain Jacket. The Visp Rain Jacket comes in at about five and a half ounces and it really has like a lot of features to it. Um, first, you can kind of see how it fits. It fits very, very nicely. One of my problems with the Frog Togs was just how like baggy it was and how if you were bushwhacking or you know hiking on a trail that hasn't been maintained in a while your rain jacket is just going to catch on everything and it's going to get rips all over it which is obviously if it has holes in it it's not going to keep you dry it's not going to keep you warm so uh, this one is like a little bit more slimmer of a fit but at the same time, it's still got a lot of space in there if I wanted to like layer this with a fleece or a puffy or just have other things underneath it. So that's something I really like is just how it fits. Something that uh, maybe you can see is how long the sleeves are. If I just let this thing hang, you know, it completely covers my hands. And that is something I also didn't get with the Frog Togs. Even though the Frog Togs is just so large, it stops at your wrist, you know, and you could bunch up your hand and kind of try and tuck it in there. But, you know, if you're hiking in a cold rain, I personally don't use trekking poles. And, uh, you know, you want to keep your hands nice and warm and nice and dry. And I think it's wonderful that you can just easily pull them into the rain jacket. Or if you want that, or if you want more access with your hands, you know, it has these nice Velcro straps on the wrist where you can tighten it up. You know, again, maybe if you're bushwhacking and you don't want as many things hanging around. So you can keep your hands super dry, totally covered up, or you can tighten up the wrists and, uh, you know, have a nice slimmer, more accessible, maybe if you're scrambling on rocks or something, you can use your hands more easily. So although the rain jacket is like a slimmer fit than say the Frog Togs, it is a bit longer in the sleeves and it is a bit longer at the waist and especially in the back. You know, so again, you can stay more dry. And at five and a half ounces, that's really incredible. Just, you know, how much fabric and how much material is here and the, the ability to layer and the ability to stay extra dry, you know, for five and a half ounces, really cool. You know, the extra fabric in the back easily covers my entire butt, you know, so I just don't have like a soaked butt while I'm hiking uh, throughout the day, which is a really nice like luxury, I suppose, <laughs> to not be getting your shorts entirely soaked as you're hiking. Um, this rain jacket also has pit zips. You have the option if you want to save extra weight or if you just don't care for them to uh, not have the pit zips, so pit zips on both arms. That's a feature that I was really interested in, uh, just because, you know, sometimes you, you're gonna be cold, but you still wanna have that breathability. You know, so maybe it's not necessarily raining, but it's really windy, or maybe it's raining and it's a little bit hotter out. You know, you wanna be able to unzip those pits there, and uh, let a little bit of extra airflow come in. So pit zips on both sides. Now this also has like a nice bungee strap at the bottom. Again, those of you who are really trying to save some extra weight could probably just remove that. You know, that's something I'll have to think about. But uh, you know, it is nice that it's there in case you wanna have it more secured and closer up against your body. It has a large hood and totally zipped up. It even kind of covers my mouth, at least while I'm wearing this hat. The hood also has adjustable straps so you can tighten it down in case you're in a heavy rainstorm or if you're in an area with a lot of wind. So personally, since this is the year 2020 and I haven't been through hiking this year, I haven't had 
the most amount of time to like test it out. So probably I'll do maybe a full review a year na a year from now. Uh, Cause I've seen some concerns about maybe like the durability of this thing. Since it is so extremely lightweight, the fabric is kind of thin, but you know, at least for me, I've been using frog togs. I've been using these frog togs for years. You know, I get like 2000 miles out of these things and nothing, nothing could be less durable than a frog togs and I still get 2000 miles out of them. So um, I expect this thing is gonna last me a long time and you know, I feel like when it comes to buying any ultralight gear or any super light gear, you know, you're also taking on the responsibility of, you know, trying to take care of it, you know, not being totally reckless with it. So I would try and take care of my frog togs and I'd get 2000 miles out of them. <laughs> so this, I fully expect the material to last a lot longer than that. And uh, so far I've been wearing it just in daily use in the Arizona monsoon season we've been having here. I've been using it out playing disc golf. I've been using it on local hikes that I've been doing and little backpacking trips, just, you know, when it's really cold out and I just need that extra layer. I've actually been leaving my fleece at home and just carrying this instead. You know, because I feel like this with the extra, the pit zips and, you know, the ability to fully unzip it, you know, and still have like a little bit of uh, warmth being trapped in there. I felt like this was a little bit more versatile and a little bit lighter than a lot of fleeces out there. So you can use this as your primary uh, warmth on a lot of trips as well. But yeah, personally, I don't really see too many downsides of this. Obviously, you know, it's not going to be as cheap as a frog togs, but kind of the biggest problem with the frog togs is that you're not going to be able to rely on it. You know, the frog togs are going to rip, they're going to tear and they could tear at a really inopportune moment and you could be left in a very, very dangerous position. So although this is somewhat expensive, I forget the exact price, it is most certainly going to last you and it is most certainly going to be something that I feel I can trust. You know, I feel I can trust out on the trail to last me thousands of miles. So, uh, again, I'll probably do a review in the future uh, after, you know, maybe next year, sometime next year this time, and just see how it's held up and see what I think then. Um, but for now, I've had it for maybe the past, like, six months or something and just using it a lot and really loving it. You know, I feel like it keeps me very dry. I feel like it keeps me very warm. And I don't really see too many negatives of it other than maybe the price tag. And the only other little thing is that the zippers are a little bit tiny. So the zipper takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, you know. But the zipper is also waterproof and the zippers on a frog tog aren't. <laughs> so this is the Enlightened Equipment Visp rain jacket. I first saw it at PCT days and I thought the material just looked space age. So that was the thing that initially drew me in and made me want to look at it more. This was a material I had never really seen on any other gear before and so far I'm very impressed with it. And uh, if you buy one of these things and you like it, let me know. Uh, I really, really hope you do as so far I've really been enjoying mine. So a five and a half ounce package for a lot of features here.